Good morning, I'm Pierre. I'm a travel adventure photographer and for the past few months I've been stuck at home because of COVID. Finally, I've been able to go on my first international trip to French Polynesia and I've been sharing all those photography adventures with you. The high, the lows, the epic shots, the underwater shots, everything. Now, today in this episode, I'm going to share with you some field street photography, travel portraits, we're going to be shooting underwater reflection shot, a commercial shoot, and we'll be ripping through the mountains with a tiny car to get those shots. <laughs> All right guys, I'm switching back to Canon again. This is how people shoot here. <laughs> Ready? Just stopped on the side and took this like dirt path and we didn't know where it was going. It looks absolutely incredible. The view is just beautiful. It's so picturesque. I love it. So we're gonna get a little shot of the car just kind of driving by. We may be going a little bit too far for this car, so <laughs> we got to reverse right now. Let's go back. What do you think? Let's reverse. go back. Wow, all right, just stopped on the side of the road. Uh, Emmett and Chelsea are trying to, to get like some shots for the campaign again with uh, Corona, but I'm actually gonna be shooting a little bit of the elements around here, just because I think it looks kind of cute now. The light is not perfect, but the background is absolutely epic. So what I think I'll do is just try to get some shots just for fun and not try to think too much about if it's great or not, because otherwise I'll never be shooting I'll always have an excuse not to, so uh, I'm just gonna have some fun, do some like kind of street photography, maybe get those boats. I think wide angle, even 35 millimeters with those boats could look cool. Like that. Okay, so, so. Wow, this is embarrassing because those shots are, in my opinion, trash. They didn't work for a few reasons. Why? The light wasn't great for those you want like direct light, maybe for more, some tropical vibes. The subjects were not really interesting, there wasn't much happening, and most importantly, it was too busy. Uh, maybe those are not shots you would shoot wide. I don't know, the location wasn't great, so I didn't feel it. Maybe the only shot that worked out for me was on the side of the road with a scooter. That's it. But I'm okay with it because try something different, try something new. Remember, even if you fell, it doesn't matter. Just stopped on the side of the road just to get a few uh, uh, fruits and also get a few shots because it looks really good. That's awesome, look at that. It's such a cool place. So let's get a few shots. Ça va? Je peux prendre une photo de toi? Ouais? Alright, super fun. The guy was so picturesque. Uh, that looked so good. So I, I popped on the 85 millimeter on just because I could. <laughs> Because I had it on, so it looks a little better, but uh, maybe should have had him on the darker bar background though, but I don't want to bother him. I already bothered him like three times, so it's okay. I wish I took the photo with the 105 mil. So Emmett has this 105 millimeter F1.4. It's so beautiful, but he never <laughs> took it out so far. Emmett, what do you have to say in your defense? Well, I feel like I should... Oh, I don't want to bother him. All right, well, you've got three seconds. One, <laughs> two, and three, we're gone. Woo. All right, so we're stopping and we're looking for the jetty right now. Uh, to get a few shots for uh, Chelsea and Emmett. And uh, Chelsea is wobbling or like walking like a Zombie right now. Chelsea, what happened to you? I was doing acro at the beach and then I landed on a one tiny piece of coral. Everything just like is so alive here that it got super infected and now I can't walk on it. It's not not ideal. Not ideal. Emmett is gonna try also to get a reflection shot from under the water, meaning the reflection from below the surface on top of the surface. So first shot, Emmett is gonna go in the water with his housing, uh, gonna get the reflection shot. If you put a polarizing, are you still gonna get the reflection? get a more vibrant reflection. But doesn't it cut off reflections? 
In one way it cuts off, and the other way it makes oh. it more strong. So it's just gonna have to make sure that he puts it the right way because once it's in the housing, <laughs> it's over. There's like photo and a video. You guys have to shoot both at the same time. Fun times. Cold. <laughs> Trust me, I don't want to get in either. <laughs> Just get it, damn it. Go! Three, two, one. Ready? What's yep. <clears throat> the water, Emmett? I'd like some sun. Somehow I should get in the water, but. I don't know. My energy level is pretty much around 60% right now. I'm gonna get my housing, I'll get in the water quickly. So I put it on the 85 millimeter, we'll see how it looks. I have no clue to be honest. It might be great or it might be terrible. I've actually never tried 85 in the water, so let's see. This is one of those moments that looks super relaxing, but when I was shooting it, I couldn't see anything at 85 millimeter. I had tons of reflection on my housing, so I couldn't really see any of the photos I was taking. On top of that, we couldn't move our feet because there would be a lot of dust being kicked up, which would destroy the visibility for the photos. And for Chelsea, it was super hard to have all the water go up her sinuses while keeping a relaxed face. All right, out of the water update. <laughs> uh, I think it was super difficult, especially for Chelsea actually. <laughs> she had like, like a liter of water coming out of her nose every time she would pop out of the water. Because when you don't have the mask and you look up, well, everything goes in your sinus. So it's super enjoyable. This is what we're talking about. You see the water coming out of her nose? <laughs> this is like 20 minutes later. 85 millimeter was an interesting idea, I will say. Again, try something different. Uh, if everyone shoots at 20 millimeter, try at 85. But I gotta say, uh, I couldn't see anything because I was trying to get the GoPro, so I wasn't using the viewfinder. And bleh, I had no clue what I was shooting. So I got a few that are okay, but it's gonna be an experiment. I'm gonna try again at 85 millimeter, especially if we get in other glassy water. Oh, I love that one. The dress looks so sick. I like this one because there's little fish swimming around yeah. there. And this is why they were swimming forever. <laughs> <laughs> one hour for how long is the shot? Wait, how long? Two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. One hour. Two seconds. <laughs> one hour. Uh, it, it, looks cool. it, it looks super sick. Quick update. It doesn't look as bad as I thought at 85. Again, it's because I can't see sh in my housing and that's like hand ring shots it's okay but i kind of wish like that hand was like lower and the reflection was higher oh the portrait of the guy this morning looks so good look at that face all right let's see what else we're gonna shoot today What a way to park, guys. This is insane. So we're running because the light is gonna change in just a second. We're trying to get the light rays, we're trying to get the pineapple feel. This lookout looks absolutely epic. I think we could bring the car up here. Huh? You think we can bring it? Do it. Yeah? <laughs> you can try. That's when things get fun. All right, so Emmett really wants a shot of the car like going up here with the background and I think it could work. So Emmett, you're gonna wear the POV. I'm gonna be driving. I don't think we're gonna go very high and if I'm super honest. Let's switch to Emmett. Okay, I'm gonna make a poster out of this. It's like the most picturesque little road. We're gonna get Pierre driving our highly specialized off-road vehicle, the Kia Picanto. You may not have heard of it, but look at it coming now. Incredible. Just got it. See what happens. Ready? Back to you, Pierre. Whoa, all right, so I'm gonna get a few also. 20 millimeter, one eight, should be nice and 
crispy. All right, this is our next picanto commercial. It's beautiful. Look at that. Whoa. All right, I've got my light. Let's get it. Boom. Boom. Uh -uh. Definitely one movement though. If it was like cleaner, uh, sorry, like drier, we would get the dust. And Chelsea was saying apparently last time they were like doing donuts here and everyone was freaking out with the tourism board, which is kind of funny to think about. Uh, here we go. Another one, like super low to the ground like that. Boom, boom. All right, looks good. Ooh, look at that mountain. All right, let's switch to 85 and get some like side shots there. Fast, fast. Kind of wish now I had the 7200. So I had the feeling and now I didn't follow my gut feeling. And this is what happens. Oh, look at that. So cool. All right, so I'm at 24 millimeter right now. I'm just gonna play around a little bit with the back foreground right there. So I think it kind of looks cool. That tree's a little distracting here. Boom, I think it looks kind of cool. Just is trying to get like some walking shots or like hiking shots. Boom, I really love that. I'm gonna go in full manual. Am I in full? Yeah. All right, let's get Chelsea's shot. Holding the 1DX is no joke. I know. All right, guys, I'm switching back to Canon again. If that continues, I'm gonna get sponsored. <laughs> so the one thing that's surprising, guys, is that Emmett and Chelsea are in half press button, which is really confusing when you've been doing like back button for a while. All right, let's see how it looks. You guys can judge. And this is how people shoot here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a joke, that's the funny part. <laughs> I know, that's why. That's... Oh, no. When I when I saw his shots, I was like, what the f***? There's like a million photos. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, go. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. <laughs> well, that's how I get emotions out. No, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, let's try one more time. Um, I want to try two, like one like super low to the ground, kind of centered composition. Right, so I think we got the first hyperlapse here. We can check it together. Let's see what it looks like. mission because we have to rally back down in order to get what are we getting beach beach, beach corona shots beach corona shots finally uh we're rallying back down the mountain even though it may not seem so <laughs> Gary likes to take his sweet sweet time what <laughs> So it's a little bit of a rush. Uh, we had to grab the limes, we almost forgot them. Could have been a fail. And we are going to uh, cut the limes. We're gonna cheer on the beer and we're gonna get some shots with the sunset. Thankfully, the sun is not too low. <laughs> it should be fun, super exciting. Actually, you know me guys, I much prefer to, to shoot under pressure versus when I have all the time in the world. So this is my playground. <sighs> Thank you.
Matt finally used this 105 and it looks absolutely epic. Look at that. All right, guys. See you in the next episode. Make sure you subscribe to join us on the next, I don't know, whatever we're gonna do. Maybe run through the jungle or go up the mountain. Who knows? I wanna share those adventures with you, the photography adventures. This is what happens behind the scenes. Join us next time.